Tarsh. Yo, Bridget. Tarsh. Relax. Relax. Now breathe through your nose. Empty paper gang. Sir, he's on his phone. We outside. We outside outside. We outside. We outside outside. Shorties be all in my line. I tell a whole fall in line. The way it be flashing is fashion. I just might move to my line. Christian D. Sending me paper. Now the way that I see it, 
my life and basketball has always been intertwined. They have always been one and the same. And we're going we're to dig deep into how that actually happened. When I grew up in Mississauga, I grew up in an area called 5 and 10 that was drug infested, prostitute infested, really bad neighborhood. Not a good situation to be in. Basketball legitimately saved my life because that's where I spent a lot of my time. It also got me into a lot of trouble and a lot of fights, but I don't regret a single day of it. When I realized that basketball was not going to be my career year for the rest of my life in terms of how I make money, I realized that I still needed to be in the game. And I remember sitting in a classroom like this in 11th grade, and my careers teacher, I handed in a piece of homework. I handed in this piece of homework and my career teacher says, Elias, what is this? Be more realistic. Because I, I had written a report saying a game plan of how I was going to become an NBA general manager. And she laughed at that. And the rest of the class laughed at that. And that moment has still till this day never left and continues to burn till this day because I'm not there yet. But I'm going there and I know that I'm going there. So, how you guys decide to spend your time is what dictates whether or not you will get to where you want to get to. Now, by show of hands, how many of you in this room are trying to A, become an NCAA scholarship player, or B, make it to the NBA or play professional overseas? By show of hands, all of you. And I guarantee you that if we walk into every school in Canada, and every school in North America, and every school in the USA, Everybody's going to say the same thing. So how many hands do you think are actually going up between here and the U.S. if that question was asked? Millions. So what separates you? What are you doing to separate yourself from the rest of that group? If life and basketball are intertwined, it's very simple. This is a circle, but this is not just a circle. This is a basketball. Okay? This is not just 24, this is 24 seconds on the shot clock, but this is also the 24 hours that you have in your day. And we're going to break down that 24 and how you guys are using it and whether or not you're even on your way to reaching that goal of NBA, NCAA, U Sports, uh, Overseas Pro, whatever the case may be. Again, this was a circle before I drew these lines. That circle represented your circle of friends along this line. Then you're going to have a group of people who are acquaintances, people that you spend some time with, but they're not really your closest homies, people that waste a lot of your time, people that you game with online, people that, you know, just acquaintances. You're going to have people on both sides. You're even going to have some family members who are on the outside. Okay? Over here, again, I told you at the very beginning of this conversation, life and basketball are directly intertwined. So with my 24 hours, I know that in order for me to be effective in my day, I spend 8 hours of the day, approximately, give or take, sleeping. And so do you, or so should you. Now I want you guys to tell me, but by raising up your hand and saying your name, and then tell me how, how are you spending the rest of this 24. Oh, man, I'm not coming to help you. I'm not, I don't care about your kids. But while he was working, while we were colleagues, while we were friends, we spoke on a daily basis. Daily basis. Anything that he mentioned within that six years or seven years ago, he's been mentioning about North Pole Hoops. He's been, I, I gotta leave. I gotta fly out here. I gotta do that. And every time I came, he came back, I asked him, like, what was your experience like? Even most recently, before he even came here, he was in France. And I was talking to him on the phone, like, I was like, can you come? Yeah, I'm going to get there, I'm going to be here. Okay, make sure that you message, message him right when he got back. First thing that I asked him when we were in the hallway, like, what did you learn? What can I take from you? What do I need advancement? So like you said, everybody here may not make it to the league, but everybody here can be successful in some way that can be beneficial to all of us. Some may be a lawyer, some may be a therapist. All of those things, we can, we can help each other. Here's 
years, but like there's there's a lot of people like you don't have to see them for ten years and then you see them, it's like yo, yeah. it's love and it's real and it's genuine. There's no there's no BS. So that's what that's what these guys are trying to develop here. And I'll tell you guys as a you know, hang up. I'm willing to volunteer my time to you guys as much as possible within reasonable you know circumstances. If you guys, if I hear from them that you guys are doing doing the things that we spoke about, I am happy to volunteer my time every so often. Okay?
struggling in some subjects or whatever the case may be, bring it so we can help you. Okay? On the, on the flip side, a lot of you guys showed us your mark and you guys are doing extremely well, which is very, very good. Okay? It's, not, it's only good for us. It's good for your parents. It's good for your school. It's good for you guys to continue to play basketball. 
So keep up the good work. We about to go give y'all some rule books. You know what I mean? We got some rules y'all we want we want y'all to follow. We always think shit's funny, huh? Yeah. Alright, so we finna go get y'all bundles and come back. But first and foremost, before you even get that, I do want to touch on, guys, as much as E was even speaking, you guys are, if you are Send that to you. Oh, God. 